So the piece that I will be reading uh, is called Draft 4, A Warning to the Motherland. It was hard around the world. 300, 299, 298, 297. Those who were already outside looked up and saw the number in the sky. Frantically searching for the mouthpiece of this creation, they stopped what they were doing to exclaim, Oh God, what is that? Fathers covered their daughters' eyes, sons burying faces in mother's skirt. Street vendors held out loaded hot dogs to outstretched hands. Conspiracy theorists they began to holler. It's a simulation, a glitch in the matrix. The aliens are here, yes, standing beside you, praying to a rosary, saying, God, send it to strength. Your whistle, Lord, give it here and give it now, for we need you more than ever. 246, 245 was announced before everyone else came outside. Confusion, haunting, black cloud, fear, fell to the shoulders asking, was this really happening? Space was made for all of the streets. Traffic became non-existent. Purses were left in grocery carts. Cash registers, money exposed, unattended. Dogs ran wild, front doors wide open. 204, 203, 202. Who could have produced this? Shouted men sweating through government suits. Slippery fingers could not shake fast enough. See past foggy glasses, wipe away sweat so controls. Find truth behind this crime. Place blame, judge, jury, verdict. Messages uncoded were sent to allies. Warnings to foes reporting if you continue to persist. We will have no choice but to destroy but to destroy you. Warning. No one knew for certain. Certainty thrown out the window. Dropping bombs, executioner. 171, 170, 169. Birds dropped from the sky and the clouds blown green. Shadows began swirling, making faces in the wind, howling, laughing at trembling legs again fainted, stilling the ocean into a frightening calm. Dormant volcanoes started to shake, and avalanche brought ever stones. Atlantis rose, the desert drowned. Fire swept rainforests and mudslide filled caves. Still we, the whole world, stood and watched the numbers go down. 105, 104, 103. Calls were made to lovers, husbands, sisters, friends to no one. Connections were lost as power lines came crashing down. Electricity flashing, the lights on the streets turned blue. And the concrete lit up like a bloody Christmas tree. The soles of our shoes, stained by violent hate. Confronting the blood we spilled on these streets, made sick from our passive murderous palms. We realized the floods on our hands. 88, 87, 86, warning. Nuclear plants were being activated. 73, 72, 71. For the first time, we began reaching for one another. Tears rolled down each cheek. Angels, strangers wiped them away. How fast did those who had fallen from grace? Protective instincts cradling the young. Our prejudice went dormant. We asked for forgiveness, devils. 30. 29, 28, warning, red side flaring, ready for the command. We'd self-destruct before it admit to something wrong. We'd send our mother to a fiery grave, reduce her to ash, a meteor shower forecast. Rather than submit to unknown forces, we detonate the world. 10, 9, we held our breath and closed our eyes to show grace we've never given. Whispering to our once friends, to our once enemies, thank you, I love you. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Eight. Bracing for impact. Seven. Keys locked and ready. Flashing strobe lights. A thumb hovering over a red button. Waiting for the count. That never came. We looked up. Hearts racing horsepower. Tickle in our throats as no white knuckling our comrades' wrists as if we had all fused together. Looking around, we saw darkness waver and then disappear. No longer were shadows cast. Light spread out through the valleys and plains. Flowers bloomed, blossoming, promising tomorrow. The blood beneath our feet was washed away clean, replaced with tiny yellow daisies. The gruel beyond our ankles. We kneeled to touch the soft petals, rubbing them gently between our fingers. Never too much to kill their shine. 
We sob over our disinherited souls, flower crowds of divine. And the suits fell back into chairs, shaking numb, ragged breasts, lightheaded, tingling toes, and fingers returned to recruit control as they let out a sigh of great relief. They have waited. Oh, thank God they have waited. Warfare has been avoided. And we began to cheer, crying out love, warm, bright light spread across our chests. Our fellow man, our darkest hour, came together, shared stories under the sun, made enemies of no one. Instead, we took those who kissed their pants and washed them in rivers newly formed. Crystal clear, cool, and sweet, we counted this each galaxy under the night skies caught falling stars on our cheeks as we wiped tears away. We rebuilt our cities, gave homes to the homeless, learned how to grow gardens, paint tapestries, exchange goods across borders so that no blueberry was sour. Every mango was ripe and sweet, the juices dripping off our chins. Every cut of beef was lean and fatty and real. Chicken no longer came in a can. Lobster went from hand to hand to boiling water. It wasn't wrapped in plastic. It was dipped in freshly made butter. Tangy Tabasco sauce, ingredients harvested that morning. Up menus updated, electric doors, accessibility. We drank deeply from fountains containing blessings, found cures for cancer growth. Locksmiths went out of business. Our youth ran up rolling hills, played chase with wild foxes, beating them apple seeds from a tree. We gave name to our earth, paradise, Eden, we made. Governments pulled funding from military hate campaigns to fund environmentalists, biologists, astrophysicists to answer the phenomenon. The only proof of Crimson 7 in the bright blue sky, no, a, a warning to the motherland, hovering always just above your peripheral no matter where you stood, reminded always every time you stepped outside. We were to remain grateful, though our minds were itching for watching lively conversations on talk shows. And the first baby born after this post-apocalyptic almost calamity was named Hope. On every news outlet, front line, Hope was born. And afterward, they brought a meta quantum black particle scientists, spiritual psychologists, giving non-answers fallacies, while quiet, fatalistic debates were made around campfires and under a tent in the woods. We only picked up our heads to speak to friends or to praise our numeric savior. Warning, second chance coming, war cry, God! We were grateful, reminded always on the edge of our minds, burning a shrine, coping through community. Some turned to running, white powder confetti. Churches rebuilt cathedrals with skylights. Dandelion wine was served. Scripture revised to include the number in the sky. Companies stamped it onto Oreo cookies, printed it on clothing, and hung on keychains around our necks. Tip jars labeled opposing ideas, clear umbrellas were no longer made, exposing only our homicidal lips. Oh my god. Exposing over only our homicidal tendency lips. What do you believe? Whispered before numbers exchanged. A smile plastered each face, never quite reaching the eyes. Adderall addictions reached a new high. Wilderness camps for teenage anarchists. Juggles, camp guns, a tin foam back order. Curfew became commonplace. Time zone restrictions. Those who couldn't afford renovations or blackout curtains used, used comforters. Heavy duty trash bags. Windows, a thing of the past. Restless legs and your self diagnosed. Relentless tensions rose. A power tank about to explode until one day. Two co-workers, Michael, Mike for short, and Peter, went to lunch together on Friday afternoon after receiving their bonuses. They worked at a call center for State Farm, had known each other for 10 years. Michael trusted Peter enough to pick up his kids from school. Mike believed in a higher power, and Peter loved his husband. They walked along the busy street going to the corner of 3rd and South where the best taco trucks that parked between 11 and 2. The owners were rushing to get ready. 
anticipating a lunch rush large enough to sustain the cost of living. Peter and Michael pushed past the bustle of city life, discussing how the call road through the agency had been downsized. Glad they weren't one of the poor souls who were out of a job. When someone from the crowd shrieked, it's gone, it's gone. Once again, traffic stood still, looking at the bright blue sky that was just that, bright, blue, beautiful. No longer adored by a vibrant red seven, dazed, confused, Mike, short for Michael, looked at Peter, not knowing what to do, dissociating. Mike stooped down and grabbed a piece of concrete loose from the sidewalk, raised it over Peter's head, who was distracted, looking up at the sky, beaming admiration, whisp running from ear to ear, whispering, freedom. Mike hit Peter, bashing open his skull, Michael, Mike, hit Peter again, popping out his eye. Peter fell to the ground unconscious. We, the people, turned, watched Mike raise the weapon over his head and bring it down. What a wet, muddy thud, rock on skull, on brain, on blood, over and over and over again. Everyone watched Mike spill blood on his Nike, splatter on his face, mesmerized. We watched Peter, man, fall. Baptized by violence, regraved liberty at last. And it was on that fateful day, that voice of the sky, the voice we feared, revered, walked, worshipped under black light, set fire, lamp, sacrifice. The voice we could not decide if it was of God or an alien speak, scrap, spoke out once more. Six. No. No, no, no time. This was, there was no time at all, no time to react and rejoice. Terror, when we felt our failures and vices vividly, suddenly, when our hearts rose, lump in throat, something dark, something vicious, desperate, sunk, pit in stomachs, we, we cried for mercy. Please, mercy, another chance. Please, please give us another chance. Five, that's when we started running out of breath to study, be red, scratchy, don't screaming, deafening, covering tunnels, Climbing over children must push down, must get to higher ground. Four planes crashed and engines caught fire. Highways, valleys split down the middle, creating an opening, a one-way ticket to hell's greedy fire. Thunder boomed, shaking the earth to rise to frightening heights. Some tried to hold on to no avail. We ran and watched the fall of man as black clouds rolled in. Three, amid this chaos, one man walked in white robes against the crowds, arms outstretched, palms open, receiving, falling to his knees, accepting what unknown was to, was to come, triumphantly singing, glory! May I be worth the suffering endured. Two, in our final moments, there had been time for joy after all. One.